into October. It is my second fall vlog. I went grocery shopping this morning because it's Monday. I went to Trader Ho's, Whole Foods. I picked up so many fall things. I finally let myself get fall stuff. I let myself just go buck wild in Trader Joe's. And also Whole Foods had some cute fall stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I got. And again, I didn't do my weekly reset on Sunday. So we're doing it today on Monday. So I need to clean the apartment, get everything ready for the week. I have to do a lot of schoolwork, planning all my content for the week. And then I'm going to a Lakers game with two of my friends. He has like season tickets to the Lakers. And I was like, um, yeah, never been to a basketball game a day in my life, but I am so down because that's such a vibe. We did all our fall decor last week, but I didn't get a pumpkin for the front door because I ended up putting it on my console. So I got a big fat juicy pumpkin from Trader Joe's that I'm gonna put in the front of my door. Okay, let's start with Whole Foods because faster, easier, better, stronger. I don't know. I picked up jars from Whole Foods. Let's just start with that because I have been wanting to do overnight oats. I found a cute apple overnight oat recipe and I don't know where the lids are to my regular mason jars. So I saw these ones just sitting there at Whole Foods and I thought this is the perfect container. It's so cute. I also picked up pumpkin spice latte because I just had to do it. I had to do it. They need to come out with fall themed cups. Also brief intermission. We also had hot girl summer. We had our fun and now it's time to do cute things for fall and like the whole cuffing season thing, it's already, I think, drafting season. I don't know what week we're on with the whole cuffing thing, but like, I'm just gonna have to start taking randos to do cute fall things. I don't know, but no, we're in the scouting. No, we passed scouting and now I think we're on tryouts. I don't know where we're at. I don't know where we're at on this cuffing schedule, but you know, I picked up kale because I pick up kale every week. I'm gonna make pesto, damn it. I said I was gonna give up dairy fully and gluten because it's just, it gives me so many issues, okay? Dairy gives me so many issues. But then I saw these and I thought, you know what? It's October, 80-20. 80% good, 20% dairy. Pumpkin spice cheesecake sandwich creams. Had to do it, had to do it. Then I saw this cute little creamer and this is the almond and coconut creamer, limited edition pumpkin spice. Ah! Then I picked up oat flour because I made banana bread last week and I'm going to be making more of that as well as, I think we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna make pumpkin bread this week. I think that's the fall recipe, overnight oats and then pumpkin bread. I picked up my old tried and true chocolate chip cookie dough almond milk ice cream, this stuff. Then I picked up my Bonza chickpea spaghetti. So very high in protein, very delicious, very delightful. I got some lemons. And then I picked up more apples because it's the fall time. So it's an apple moment. You're done. The last thing that I picked up from Whole Foods was this Nature's Path honey almond granola. I love this brand's cereal. This is the Nature's Path Sunrise Crunchy Honey, a medley of corn, quinoa, flax, buckwheat, and amaranth. This is the best cereal ever. So I knew I would trust their granola. And this is a honey almond and it looks like the fall. So now we're free to do Trader Joe's. I got the pumpkin, which I showed you. And then I got the broom. I love the little witch broom. This is the cinnamon broom and it just smells like heaven. First, we always get bananas, so bananas. Then I picked up this again. This is the beef with the kimchi, rice, and vegetables. Oh, I picked up another pumpkin actually because I wanted a little duology at my front door. So we've got the fat one right here and then this one. I'm gonna name that one Huxley and then the small one is gonna be Finn. Why do I name everything? Is this a mental illness? Then when I was picking up eggs, I saw this next to them. And these are the pumpkin rolls with pumpkin spice icing. Absolutely, I'm adding that to the roster of fall items. I love the fall time. I come alive in the fall. Then I picked up more bone broth. This is the beef bone broth. I really like Trader Joe's bone broth. Ye old faithful. I don't know, it's good. Then I picked up my gluten-free pumpkin pancakes. These slap every single year. And then you put on the pumpkin butter on top of it. Then I got a baguette, um, not fall related, but. Ow. Then I picked up a little something for Atticus and these are the pumpkin maple bacon flavored stuffies dog treats. Atticus goes buck wild for these. They're his favorite, so Stormy, you're just like mommy baby. And I picked up some eggs. I got another pumpkin. I didn't know I did this. Now I have a trilogy. Okay, so we have Huxley, we have Finn, and this one's gonna be Theodore. That just came to me so fast. I don't know what was through. What? Then I picked up the cinnamon bun spread. This stuff is really good in your coffee. You put a little spoonful of it. This is the best thing ever. This is the salted caramel hot chocolate. They didn't have this last year, okay? But they have it again. Best hot chocolate ever. It is so cozy. Oh! Then I got tomatoes. Again, not fall related, but tomatoes. 
And then I got pumpkin butter, which I told you, great on the pancakes. I love the little jarred goodies. They're so delicious. Then I got pumpkin spice coffee. I do have the maple coffee from last year. I still have it, but I didn't open it until now. So it counts as new because no air got in it. Maple coffee, pumpkin coffee. We're not drinking regular coffee this season. It is only maple or pumpkin. Another little Atticus treat. These are the pumpkin recipe dog treats. I can't remember if he likes these or not, but he's going to because it's fall. Get in the spirit, okay? Two protein bars. These are the Think peanut butter protein bar and the Think chocolate peanut butter pie. The last thing that I got from Trader Joe's were the pumpkin overnight oats. These are rolled oats with pumpkin puree and spices. I did also buy apple cider, but it's in my fridge and I bought it yesterday. So that is my little fall grocery haul. I will be buying so many more things. So in every vlog this month, there's gonna be a little Trader Joe's fall haul. Like it just has to happen. Trader Joe's goes so hard during this time of year. It's stupid, it's ridiculous. a double pack of orange fairy lights because I thought my dresser and my console just needed a little something to make it cozy at nighttime because you know the fall vibes are there but we need it to be cozier I hate that I can see myself ew but then I also got this banner and it's the it's freaking bats I love Halloween I also got some fall soap that I replaced for my bathroom and my kitchen <laughs> Might be a little wonky, might be a little crooked, but I think it looks cute right there. I decided to put the lights over my bed. It looks kinda wonky, but I feel like maybe in the background of videos where I'm sitting over here talking, and then for when I'm reading at night, I think it'll be really cozy. So then I'll show you what these look like at night. some apples doing a little saute moment. I made apple pie overnight oats. They're sitting in my fridge and then I'm sauteing some apples and I'm gonna put them in my fridge and store them and then put them on top of the overnight oats as like a cute little weekday meal. I don't know, I was really feeling it. I'm in a very cooking fall meal prep mood. So we meal prep the overnight oats. Now I'm gonna make my fall soup again because that just 
slaps okay my mom really popped off when she made that recipe i'm going to meal prep fall soup now again because i finally got containers to store in the freezer so i bought little plastic containers to put in the freezer different sizes so I didn't realize how many of these there are, but I have three different sizes. So I have a 16 ounce, a 32 ounce, and an eight ounce. I'm gonna be a little chef. I am in soup mode. We're gonna be cooking soup all season. So buckle up. On, but I have my hair blown out because I'm blowing it out for the weekend and it's just easier if I have a nice little base and then I can just touch it up tomorrow night when I go out. But tonight I have a couple friends coming over to watch the new Hocus Pocus. We're gonna order Thai food in. We're gonna bake some pumpkin blondies. I set up some of my little fairy lights and then I have a simmer pot going which is just to make your house smell like fall. So we're really setting the vibes for movie night. And then when I go out tomorrow night, I will have my hair basically already blown out and then I'll just redo the rollers but won't need to actually blow dry it. And then bam, second day blowout. I love having my friend's location. It's probably the f most fun little game that there is. I see my friends are on their way. And then I see my other friends are golfing. Someone's on a Duffy right now. Someone is at dinner, which is fun. Anyway, I feel like I look like a 50s housewife right now, but I'm gonna roll with it. Hi. Okay, cause I started it and I really <gasps> didn't finish it. Don't live alone, technically. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna um, sit here and just make sure you guys don't. Supervised. I'm going to meet ya. What do you mean? Meet ya. Am I the new career dude? Alright. But the three of us? Who's the third person you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Spongebob with the <laughs> slashling and slash. You're the slashlinging slay slay slash sling. I don't know what that is. Were you not cultured? One fourth teaspoon. What the fuck is that? I would say that's just a pinch. Chocolate and we're done. Yes. Okay. Remember we were talking about the same YouTuber? We're both kind of talking about the same time. Yeah. Did you ever want to date with me? No. <laughs> it takes a village. Stir and I pour and I slay. Less aggressive on the stirring, please. 